So today's video is going to be involving uh, one of these oil pressure sensors. This came out of my uh, Jeep. I have an old 93 Jeep Grand Cherokee. This is also the same sensor that is actually in um, uh, some Dodge Rams also. The reason I took this out is because uh, for whatever reason I've gone through uh, about three of these in the past two years uh, and what happens is uh, I start getting a leak uh, and the oil comes through the back of the connector here and you can see how wet it is. I've actually cleaned the outside of this and uh, oil always seems to be coming through the connector here. So I thought I'd take it apart and we can all see what the uh, common uh, failure mode is on this. Firstly we're going to try with the C-clamp here. Hopefully we can crush it open. Um, this this has just been an absolute nuisance to me and, and it, it, it's very hard to find a quality part. I had actually spent a little bit extra on this simply because uh, I thought that I was going to get a part that was going to solve the problem, but every time I buy from a different manufacturer, uh, it never seems to uh, change anything. So looking right here, uh, there is a couple little um, contacts springy contacts here that would rest up against this little uh, uh, rivet here and you can see that this is the the little hole um, that was filled with uh, silicone that all the um, uh, oil has been leaking out of so that silicone doesn't really seal against anything that may or may not be the problem itself um, but I, I would assume that this this device would have to be sealed um, you know with the electronics so I, I'm not quite sure how they're how they're handling that so we can see inside here I can get you a little bit more light there we go so you can see what's going on in there we have uh, what looks to be a coil of wire or something like that so uh, let's go a little bit deeper in here and see what else we can find Hopefully I don't hurt myself in the process. Mm. No, let's try these guys. Mm. Try a little tighter here. And it's really annoying the, the the cost of these these sensors that they have failed so often. You you can't really buy anything uh, at a local store because it's going to be the cheapest thing that you would find on uh, online anyway. And to to get something online, you have to wait for shipping. And uh, and even then, you know, it's it's a part from a manufacturer you may or may not have ever heard from heard of before. So there we go. So looking here, um, there's a little little O-ring seal right there around the edge. So now we've gotten into the actual sensor itself, getting the housing off. Uh, so we're just going to have to take a couple more bites into this to uh, get it apart and just slide off in any way or turn. No. All right, so let's crush it a little bit more here. Try see. No. Let's go back to the C clamp here. That's nah, just slipping. Might have to start chewing this open here with uh, some different tools. Let's take a look here. Let's see what we can nibble away at the at the housing here. Of 
Well, we have the top of something here. So it looks to me that right here, this is a um, this is a type of resistive wire or something here, and uh, it looks like there's a little uh, little arm in here. Depending on the the pressure, it probably rubs against this um, this resistive wire here, and that that would determine what the uh, what the voltage would would be allowed to pass so that it could tell the um, the um, the needle uh, the oil pressure needle uh, what what's going on here. So I'm looking here, and I can see I can see this little this little finger right here, and I'm assuming that this is the spring loaded. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this that little wire in there um, that looks like the actual piece that actually would rub against this when it gets up to pressure. So and we can see that there's there's certainly some oil that has not not as much as I had thought, but there's certainly some some oil. You can see the plastic is sticking to me that there's enough oil that's getting past. Um, so let's continue to disassemble here. funny how reasonably built um, this feels and yet you know it still manages to leak and essentially fail at what it's designed to do and only you know less than a year in some cases uh, than than when it was installed which is you know the part that's really a problem is that you know okay so this thing's only been in service for you know a year year and a half and it's already leaking and the question is why so okay so this is that little arm that I was talking about a second ago so I'm assuming that I probably bent this a little bit and so what would happen is depending on the pressure this little arm would move back and forth on this resistive wire here and that would determine you know what uh, what your reading would be so going in here let's see a couple more pieces to, to rip out. So looking here, okay, so basically what's happening is um, there's this um, little plunger here that can move in and out like this back and forth, and then there's this metal piece right here that seems to be like a little end stop, and then these white plastic pieces that we saw in the beginning are just kind of like guide rails to allow this thing to move uh, up and down, uh, keeping in parallel with itself. So we'll take this guy out right here. So this is that little plunger right there. And then it looks to be that we have a, um, a diaphragm in there. You can see that's that's been holding back the oil. And you can see that there's a little bit of oil still left in there. So basically what's happening is you, you would screw this into the engine somewhere. And um, the, depending on the oil pressure, it would move this this filament here, this this diaphragm right here, which then would uh, move this this plunger up and down, which then affects um, this this little mechanical lever here that has this this little electrode on here, which would move um, across this resistive uh, wire here. So. Um, kind of a bunch of different little components that make up this this one thing so basically you have a um, uh, 
horizontal action that would be then translated into a vertical action rubbing against this, uh, this resistive wire here. So let's see if we can take this apart just a little bit further. I think we're probably just about there as far as what I'm going to be able to take out. I don't think I'm going to be able to get any further than this. It might be glued. Yeah, that's not coming out. Uh, let's try this little piece right here. And yeah, it's not coming out. So that's probably been glued or, or something in there. Um, it really just doesn't feel like I and I'm I really believe that that somewhere in this in this diaphragm here is is probably where the slow leak has has come in. I was actually kind of surprised that there wasn't more oil uh, in the housing itself, um, but definitely because you could see in the connector here and uh, in different parts of the body, like for example here on the um, on the inside of this plunger here, you could see the the oil that was slowly leaking through. So um, yeah, it's probably just something getting past this little piece of uh, of diaphragm here. Um, so yeah, kind of a short video. Uh, I was just kind of curious to see if there was a little something more substantial showing what's what's happened, but I think probably what's what's going on is there's just a, maybe a very small pinhole leak. It doesn't look like there's any oil um, in here on on the top of the diaphragm per se, but I know that it is leaking through there, so it's probably only coming through in some part uh, under under high pressure. I'm just surprised it, it didn't deposit more. Um, so yeah, not, no smoking gun here it seems, but um, you can definitely see the oil that, that was coming through, like say for example here. You can see that it's come through. And again, you know, it might have been some grease that was put on by the manufacturing process, but it doesn't you know if it was going to be anything you'd expect it to be a little bit cleaner than this I mean this looks dirty like uh, like as if it was from engine oil that was in use so anyway um, thanks for watching comment and uh, subscribe and all that other good stuff and uh, we'll see you on the next one thanks for watching